Cash. Have you have you seen him yet? No, yet, not yet. Ah, well, he's terrific. He doesn't bite. Yeah, this way. Skosh. Countless times. In fact, in fact, you know, you're repeating yourself. Unlike me, who is everything is fresh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to list this way if I'm going to list, right? Okay. <laughs> I think one of my great pet peeves in life are salesmen who call me on the telephone while I'm at home. Yeah. And you get to play a boss of people who do this for a living. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you wish you were me? <laughs> You know, without talking about the actual characters, you know, the actor guys, I mean, just the story itself, uh, there's got to be something else in the world to do. I mean, that seems like a very tough occupation. Yeah, but I also think that there are men, and these particular men, that thrive on that, that, that love the danger of constantly almost losing. I think that, that these are a group of men who who are desperate for that excitement uh, because when they win, they win big. Um, and I think that uh, their, co their competitiveness um, in this film shouldn't belittle their, their perhaps admiration for each other. And I think that uh, that's true in certain of the friendships in the film. And I think that there's also a, a, a level of respect that is unspoken um, because when there's a player that's better at the game than you are, there's a certain, uh, obviously, resentment, but there's, I think there's also a respect. So these guys are like professional athletes, in other words. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think they really, they, they thrill on it. They thrive on it. It's tough, and it's, it's uh, often ugly and very competitive and, uh, I think, very emotionally draining. Um, but this I movie is emotionally draining. I guess I, I didn't realize that until it was over with, but it had to have been somewhat that way for the actors because you're always in each other's face and... That would be must, like, must be like having an argument all the time. In a strange way, it was the exact opposite. It was kind of exhilarating because, you know, we're not living the experience from A to B as you're seeing it. You know, we shot this film over 39 days, and uh, we do pieces of it and work on it and pieces of it. So um, for us, it was just thrilling to be in a room full of actors who were doing really great work um, and to, to, to play off of that is very exciting and uh, and it's energizing I and mean, we'd go home at the end of the day and we'd be raring to go um, there were a few times when in particular the character that I play who was the recipient of a lot of verbal abuse where you know I'd find myself at home feeling kind of depressed and I didn't quite know why um, but uh, I, I had a little payback uh, late in the film so uh, uh, it all balanced out yeah I think at the end of the day you would feel better if you had played a hero all day than someone getting beat up on all day. I mean, I think it's psychologically it'd have to have an effect. I think it does, but I also think that, um, that this was a group of actors who um, um, come from the school that they would like always to be aware that they're acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's, it's important to not sort of cross that line and to, to be aware that, it's, that it's, uh, it's, there's a reason they call it a play. Give me an idea of what went on when the camera <coughs> was moving to get a lighting change and you guys are just having to hang out, but you had to hang out together. I mean, tell me about each one. What are their, pretty much their habits when they're just um, in downtime? Well, uh, Lemon uh, tinkers on the piano. So they had a piano off uh, on the set, so Jack would usually go off and tinker on the piano and play some great blues number for us uh, while we waited. Uh, Pacino tells uh, great stories. Um, he's a, he's a, a great actual comic, uh, which is not his image, but he's, he's got a terrific sense of humor. Um, and uh, some of us would play cards, and some of us would talk, and some of us would read, and you know, it's uh, it's the things that uh, any uh, anybody goes through in the course of a day when you have downtime. Um, it was a very uh, a close company, and a company that that really embraced the ensemble um, aspect of the film, and how important it was to 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 be a member of a unit uh, and to discover this picture together. Um, and uh, so we really did have a, a rather extraordinary time over these days. Al Pacino remains one of the few now private people in Hollywood, because even Clint Eastwood and Robert Redford and some of the others, and even Barbara Streisand have come forward and dealt with the press, even Warren Beatty to some degree. So I think there's Nicholson, uh, Brando, and Pacino left. What is it about Al you think that makes him not want to, he didn't like talking too much? 
Well, I can't really speak for Al. Um, I can only speak to uh, I can only speak for myself, and I actually happen to believe uh, 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 in many of uh, the philosophies that Al has adopted in terms of dealing with the press. Uh, I think that it it's hard enough to convince an audience that you're a character, that you're a different person, for two hours on the stage or in a movie. Um, and I think that the more that the characters can emerge in the foreground, and the actors can sort of be in the background, the better off we are as, as artists because the work speaks. I think we have gotten so into a kind of confessional in the last 10 years of everybody sort of coming out and talking about their lives. I think it's, um, for me, it's, it, it's not something I'm interested in doing and mm -hmm. not a line that I will ever cross. Um, I think it's very important to maintain a distance because this line begins to merge between actor, character, personality. And eventually, if you allow it, um, you won't be able to play anything but yourself because that's the only thing an audience will identify. The fact that I've been able to work I in a lot of different arenas over the last 10 years and still remain a fresh face is because I haven't done a lot of publicity. I've kept it very close to my chest, and that's important. That way you can remain a chameleon, basically. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie.